you know, I don't have any secret. Uh, you know, when they started, like, I wasn't here when they started the season, but uh, the women I got my chance and uh, joined them. <clears throat> I tried to do my best and uh, work hard to get a position <clears throat> that uh, I'll just do my do my possible best to help the team. And I, at the end of the day, I was trying to win a contract, so <clears throat> I fought hard. And at the end of the day, they gave me the contract. So it wasn't easy though, but I'm okay. It's anger. There's nothing like speech. It's hard work. <clears throat> For me, I would say uh, I didn't hurt any. Of course, a uh, club, a team to say, Kotoko, a club like Asante Kotoko, definitely when player is there and he's doing well and he wants to leave, and you, Obiana, will be happy for him to leave. But at the end of the day, you have to <coughs> know the panels or career uh, or where I will change the dream, I will change his or where. So at the end of the day, you can't <coughs> say because of Kotoko. The person shouldn't go out there and show what he got or show his talent to the world so for me that <coughs> some of the fans are angry with me because i left some of them to i would say they should understand me this is my job this is my professional and <coughs> at the end of the day if i retire sorry to say i wouldn't come to any <coughs> kotoko fan to maybe give me feed me or something you know, and if you look at it here, you can't compare. <coughs> sorry, you can't compare Ghana League with Europe. It's not. It's not. It's not going to work. It's not possible to compare. Although Ghana League is good, but you can't compare with Europe. So they should just <coughs> understand that me leaving them is not like I just wanted to leave and hurt them. No, it's not that way. I wanted to just go out there and show the world that. <coughs> Who is Abdul Fatah Safi? I wanted to go out there and show my talent. That's all. Not that I disrespected them or I just left or I hate them. I love them so much. <coughs> and any of them who feel like I had, uh, I had him or her, I'm just <coughs> say sorry. That's football. <coughs> you go and someone comes in. That's how it works. It's business. Best moment in Kotoko this year was, I think, first league when they were going to. I think cutting spot. I didn't go. I didn't. I didn't make it to the squad. I didn't make it to the squad. So, the second league, I got my chance. That was uh, against Karabandi Shark at the Babaya Sports Stadium. I took it. That was. It wasn't easy. <clears throat> Your first game with this kind of crowd, and I, I was. I was. It was crazy. I wouldn't know how to describe the feeling, but it was amazing, and I was ready to, to like. The moment I got my chance, I didn't want to lose my position, so I just went in 100% just to secure my position. So, because in Kotoko, if you are a Kotoko player and you play one game, two games, you don't see it, so I don't think you're gonna see your jersey again. So, the moment you get a chance, you have to take it. So, <clears throat> that's what I did. The moment I got my chance, I took it. I've played with a lot of players and I think uh, for now I'll go with mm, I'll go for who? I think I'll go for Rabiu Mohamed and uh, Aziz Tete and Sadat uh, Karim yeah <laughs> and uh, of course Ashmiru Majid Ashmiru yeah. so far I've not faced any any kind of defender that I'm, I would say I'm scared of or I've ever faced now. I think I'll go for this uh, Diana guy, Farouk. He's tough. I think Farouk, Farouk, Farouk was very tough when we played against them in Kumasi. That's the only thing I can say. Farouk for my Diana. Yeah. You know, it was great. Me and Yakuba people. Like outside, people think we we we, we are not cool, but we cool. Yakuba was uh, was like a brother to me, and I think we are like brothers. We, we always want the best for the team. So 
when we play and talk to each other. If I don't score, he score. I'm okay. Me personally, it's not about me scoring uh, for the team always, but it's about me playing my heart out for the team. If I score, okay, but if I don't score, I don't care. It's about the team winning, not about me. They need time, you know. I think after the after our squad, I think our squad is only few people left are still playing there, so it's not gonna be easy. The fans need to just give them time. I know Kocha Cup fans don't have that kind of patience, but you need to give them time to know each other more so they can give you the result that you want. But I think that if they give them time, I think it's gonna be great with that <clears throat> that squad. I think they are doing a good job. I think that was my first goal against Karabandisha. Yeah. That was my first game against Karabandisha. That was my first game. Like I said, you know, <coughs> Opoku and uh, Opoku and uh, William Opoku and Kwame, I think, you know, Kotoko is not easy. Like people say it outside, even the jersey, the, even the jersey is something else for you to wear the red jersey and go out there and play. If you don't have big hats, you can't. It's tough, you know. So I think they should just give them time. I think with time and with their support, I think they will they will give the team result. They will square that of course. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, Sweden here yeah, is very professional. I think they are disciplined and uh, the facility, everything is, you see, is a professional, you know. You go there, you eat, you take shower after training, before training, you can do whatever you want. And the, even when you see the environment, you feel okay, you feel like you want to play, but in Ghana, oh, we don't have it that way. So it's tough. I would say Africa is tough. So you can't say Sweden and Ghana, you can't compare both. And here everything is okay, professional. Like <clears throat> you're living alone, and quote unquote to not all the guys that lives alone. And the difference is here we don't go to come. You stay at home and go and play a game because you are professional. You know what to do. At the end of the day, at the end of the month, they pay you, so you have to deliver for them. If not, and when your contract <clears throat> is, they're not gonna renew your contract again. That's that will be a big problem for you. But in Ghana. Maybe you have someone out there who will talk for you. Maybe if you're not doing well, for instance, I'm just saying, maybe if you're not doing that well in Kotoko, you have someone who is backing you up. At the end of the day, if your contract expires, you get someone who will support that. They, let's just give him another chance. And here too, they don't do that. You are here to work, so you have to focus on work and be nice to people. You have to be nice to your teammate. We don't, like, we don't argue. We argue on the field. We come back, it's over. You don't take it home. But maybe in Ghana, you know, people fight, people are not talking, players are not talking to each other and that kind of stuff. So it's, here it's different, it's different. Playing in Europe is different. Myself, Abdul Fatal, sir. <laughs> I love Chastela. When I was young, uh, Chastela, I would say Chastela is my role model. A lot of people don't know, but uh, Chastela, I really like him. Uh, when I was young, he was he was my role model, you know? and up to now, he's still my role model. I love Chastela so much. The goal. I started telling like uh, Mohamed Alassan does. Uh, as a folk defender, when we were at the airport, I told him, Hey, bro, I'm gonna score. And he was like, No. So, coming into the game, you know, I was dropped. And I heard, I went on Twitter and heard people saying, If he was good, why did Kosi, Kosi dropped him from the squad? So, I wanted for me, I wanted to prove a point that I deserve to be there, but unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the <coughs> 23. So, I was coming home with sort of anger, like. I wanted to prove a point that I deserve to be there, but I couldn't make it, so 
I was coming into a game against Hasso Fokut. Uh, I didn't want to give it. I didn't want to lose it again. I wanted to show a point or prove a point that <coughs> I can do it and I deserve it. I deserve to be in the 23. That's <coughs> why I was into the game with a lot of anger, a lot of like. I was so eager to do something. I was, I was so emotional and I was so angry, just to show Kotoko people that. Yo, I'm here for them, and no matter what, I'll always <coughs> be there for them. Even it's not easy for someone to be dropped, uh, and the next like three days or four days, you have to game this kind of game. It wasn't easy for me, but I put everything behind me, and I decided to <coughs> go into the game and put my heart out for <coughs> Kotoko. No, I'm not surprised. You know, CK is a very good coach. <coughs> he's a very good coach and uh, he's disciplined, you know. Uh, and he doesn't care who you are. If you're not doing the right thing, I don't think he's going to give you the chance to play. But if you're doing the right thing, he'll always motivate you to do it. And even if you're doing it right, he always, like, tell you that you're not doing it right. He always wants the best out of you, so he will push you to just give him the results he wants. They, they should always remember that I'm always there for them. I will always be there. And whenever they need me, only if I'm in Ghana, who knows tomorrow, who knows in the future, maybe I might come back to play for them. So they shouldn't hate me because I left. I still love them and I'll always love them. And I'll never disrespect them. The club, like, done so much for me. I can't pay them, but <clears throat> all I say is they should just clean that half clean heart that I didn't mean to hate them and I still love them so I'll always come back when <clears throat> I, th that's what I said Who, no one knows the future so maybe in future I'll come back so they should just forgive me and just let it go because it's past you move on then that's all and I want to say something if I was to be your brother you, you wouldn't advise me to stay in Ghana and play football you always advise me to travel and go and play I left Denmark to join Kotoko to play and now I left and some of them some of them sometimes insult me say some words that but for me I know they, they hurt so I, I, I just don't take it personal if you know this my side of story you understand and if you know where I'm coming from you wouldn't tell me to stay in Ghana and play Ghana League again I've been there I've, I've been playing Ghana League Division one, I've played in Thailand. I've played, so <coughs> they shouldn't hate me. They shouldn't hate me now. 